spirit, amen. We need God's comforter to come and dwell with us, and we need to believe yes, in the comforter. We need to believe and trust in his son, Jesus yes, Christ, who they said gave up his life, who died for our sins, that we might have a right relationship with God, amen. So you know there's some Jesus. criteria to have the mind of God. Thank you need Lord. to trust in him. You need to, to believe in him. Hallelujah. You need to ask him for his wisdom. And the fifth principle says, the mind of Christ gives believers discernment in spiritual matters. Thank Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In spiritual matters. Yes. We see things today with our natural eyes. And we talk about 2020 vision. Amen. We talk about 3030 vision and perfect vision. Amen. Hallelujah. But unless we have the mind of God, we won't have the eyes of God. Unless we believe in his son, Jesus Christ, we won't be able to have the discernment in spiritual matters. I believe it was Elder, Elder Pinkney who read this morning, amen, in Second Chronicles about, hallelujah, that we have the mind of Christ. Amen. We need to have also that visual, that vision, yes. that supernatural sight, hallelujah, in order to have the mind of God. We want to be able to see down the road and around the curve, amen. We want to be able to speak things into existence as though they already exist. You're not, hallelujah, able to see the things, whoo, glory, that God sees unless you have his spiritual discernment. We didn't have, hallelujah, the vision of a church sitting in the cottage here on 155 Goodrich, amen, until God gave us that spiritual discernment. They said in order to have the mind of Christ, one must first have saving faith in Christ. John, hallelujah, 1 and 12, amen, and John 5 and 12 reads, after salvation, the believer lives a life under God's influence. The Holy Spirit indwells and enlightens the believer. Amen. Amen. Entrusting him with wisdom. We want God to entrust us with wisdom. Yes. And hallelujah. Do you want God to trust you? Amen. How do we ask God to trust us? We ask him, amen, to trust us with his word. Woo, glory. Let's give God a hand praise right there. Can we trust you with his word? Somebody said or asked the question, can God trust you with his word? Can he trust you, hallelujah, with the job that he's giving you? Can he trust you with your money? Can he trust you with your seed? Can he trust you, hallelujah, to do his will? Yes. Saying today we're about our father's business. Amen. We haven't given up. We haven't stopped on our journey. We haven't turned back. We haven't quit. But we're moving forward and we're moving up to upper, upper, upper room. And we're moving to greater heights and new levels, new realms, and new dimensions. Can God trust you with this job? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. We're getting the mind of God now. We're moving, amen, a little closer to his will. It says, in trusting him with wisdom, the mind of Christ, the believer bears a responsibility to yield to the Spirit's leading. Amen. Allow the spirit to transform and renew his mind. In the book of Ephesians, we read, it says, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were, amen, sealed. Yes, glory, for the day of redemption. Hallelujah. We are grieving God in this world today. I, I feel the pain in my heart tugging, amen, at those who have turned their back on Christ. And can you imagine how God feels, amen, on his children who have turned their back on him and his holy word, his, his red word. In, in the book of Romans, in chapter 12, it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Amen, amen. Now, how do we be transformed 
by the renewal of our mind. I'm here to tell you that we are transformed, hallelujah, when we stick with the word of God and when we ask God, hallelujah, that uh, he that is spiritual judge of all things, yet himself is judged of no man. Amen. We need to live our lives so that we are spotless. We have a clean record that he forgive us of our sins and our transgressions. Amen. That we repent of all of our sins and that we ask him for forgiveness. Amen. That we have a clean and holy life. That, that he may be able to give us his divine sight, his divine vision. Amen. His divine spirit. Amen. That we're able to move in this world about freely standing on his word. And, amen. Just able to have the power of God deep down on the inside of us and that we can speak things, amen, as though they exist. Uh, hallelujah. I, I'm well, waiting and hallelujah. And I'm waiting in the in the in the in the balance. They said uh, I'm waiting in the wings for God to show. Amen. The things that he has in store for us. Uh, I'm waiting for God to show the thoughts that he has for us, uh, for his people. I'm waiting for God to reveal. Amen. The revelation, the divine revelation of where he's taken the church. Amen. Holy Ghost deliverance. Number three, tabernacle. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for God to reveal the people that he has coming in. Hallelujah. To help the ministry. Ah, glory. I'm waiting for God to show. Hallelujah. To show me. Hallelujah. The great things that he has in store for us. I don't know about you, but I'm asking God to give me his divine wisdom. I'm asking God to give me his Holy Spirit. What about you today? Do you want the mind of God? Don't be afraid to think like God, to talk like God, to have positive words, hallelujah, down on the inside of you. That we speak life and not death. That we speak light and not darkness. That we speak good and not evil. That we speak into existence great things that he has in the storehouse. Let the storehouse doors and windows be open and let there be an overflow. Hallelujah. That there won't be room enough to receive. I speak into existence. Hallelujah. The multi-million dollar businesses that God has in store for his people. We are, they said, the solution to a problem. We're asking God to show us, hallelujah, things that don't exist that we can create, hallelujah, and make Ah, glory. Yeah. The prophets that we need to make. Uh, God said he wanted us to be profitable. Uh, how do we be profitable? Uh, it's because we have the mind of God. Uh, and those are the words that I want to leave with you today. Uh, asking God for his spiritual anointing. Uh, asking God for his divine wisdom and guidance. Uh, hallelujah, glory. The mind of God. We need to be able to preach, hallelujah, about the mind of God more. And that's our second, amen, installment about the mind of God. As we switch and think about our mind, where we are today, and where we want to be. We're not thinking about yesterday, amen. They say yesterday is gone, huh? Hey, hallelujah, tomorrow may never be mine. And ah, let me be able to just dwell in God's spirit today. Huh? Ask God, hallelujah, hard thing. Ask God to show you, hallelujah, the plans that he had in store for you. Amen. And it's a plan, he said, that we would get this world back together, right back in order, and the kingdom of God, hallelujah, in in a relationship, right relationship with him. We have a job to do. We have a job to go into the world, a job to go into the community and bring people into the house of God, bring them back into the fellowship of God, bring them into the presence of God. We are walking letters and epistles, amen? And we have a responsibility to do what God would have us to do. We are his hands, his mouthpiece, and his feet in the world. We are the ones he has required 
that we do this work for. Amen. It's a work within us to him. Be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout generations forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you want the mind of God today? How many of you want the mind of God today? How many of you want the mind of God today? The mysteries to be revealed unto you. Hallelujah. So that you can go and claim what God has in this earth today for us to claim. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the word today. I'm going to leave you with that thought. And that will be our new vision, our new mission for 2020. And it's called the Mind of God 3030 Vision. Why 3030 Vision? That's a thousand years out. It doesn't even exist. Amen. Amen. And so we're speaking things like God did. He spoke the world into existence. Amen. Amen. He spoke the world into existence. And we have the power to speak things into existence that don't exist. Nothing has been created. Hallelujah. Nobody ever thought about it before. Download, God. Show us, Lord, and reveal it to us, oh God. Whatever that cure is, oh Lord, whatever that 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 need is today to solve that machinery that doesn't exist. There is something that has not been created yet that will make us millions and billions of dollars if God give us the blueprint for it. Amen. Amen. He give us the strategy for it. And they're going to say, how did they become that wealthy? How did they think about it? It's because we learn to listen to the voice of God. And, amen. And to be obedient to his voice. The ideas that he's giving you, don't let anybody say, no, don't do that. Don't let anybody just, hallelujah, say, that's not a great idea. Write it down. And then ask God for the resources and the way and the provisions. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm feeling the word of God today. I'm telling you, we have an ask him. He said, ask me a hard thing. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. We're knocking at the door this morning. We're asking God to reveal the secret, the mysteries of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unlock the vault, oh God. You know he got a vault. I've seen his storehouses, but now I believe he got a vault. Hallelujah. They got recipes in it. Got secret ingredients in there. Woo, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The mind of God. Somebody say the mind. The mind of God. Of God. The mind. The mind of God. Of God. 30, 30. 30, 30. Vision. Vision. Woo, Lord, glory. Thank you, Lord. He's downloading something to y'all right now. Glory. He's talking to you right now. He's going to tell it to the children. Amen. Our children's children, so that we, we will be able to, to just exist in this world. And God will bless us and reward us for being faithful. 